Today's first application is really interesting. Let's say you downloaded a wallpaper from a certain website and you don't remember where you got it from. Or you used an application that directly lets you set an image as a wallpaper but not save the photo to your gallery. Well, this is an open source application called Wallpaper Export. And this is pretty cool because like the name suggests, it will let you save your current home screen and lock screen wallpaper inside your phone storage. So for whatever reason, if you're not able to save the photo in your storage and you want to keep it safe, this is an application to use. It's super simple. You open it up, you give it permissions and it will show you the wallpapers that you have currently set on your phone. From here, you can go and hit on the save button and your wallpaper will be saved to your gallery. If you want to know more applications like this, you're at the right place. What's up guys, Anubhav here. Welcome to the top 10 Android applications video for the month of December 2023. Without wasting any time, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon so you don't miss more amazing videos like this. And with that said, let's get started. The second app on today's list goes by the name of GCPU and if you're an Android fanatic or a smartphone fanatic rather and you want to know what kind of hardware has been used to put the phone together that you're holding in your hand right now, this is a pretty cool app to check that out with. So basically once you open the app, it gives you a very nice look at the information of your phone whether that is display specs or CPU specs, memory specs including a compass as well as network and battery information as well, basically all the information of the different parts in your phone can be viewed directly from this application which I think is pretty cool and pretty seamless. If you go to the settings there's also an area called apps where you can view different data of every single application installed on your phone. So overall as an analytical and an administrative app I think this is pretty cool for the people who like to take interest in these things. It's totally free, has a pretty cool UI to look at and you can download it from the link in the description below. The third app on today's list guys goes by the name of of web app and you know if your phone is running out of storage and you want to install a lot of applications like social media apps and others but you cannot because of storage or because of memory issues this is one app that will let you run any application in a app sort of way but directly from the browser I think it's pretty cool once you open it up you'll have a popular section where you can view different apps like Facebook YouTube telegram Instagram you click on them it will open up exactly the same UI as the mobile app it's basically running it inside a browser in the mobile mode but you can log in and directly use them you don't have to download anything and if it doesn't support your app you can also create an app by pasting the URL from this section here it's pretty seamless and a way for you to access a lot of different applications without actually installing them on your phone which I think will be a big help to most of you watching this video be sure to check it out all right guys before we proceed any further I would like to take a quick minute to talk about a really cool app and service that I think all of you should use it's none other than Dr. Phone by Wondershare and it has to be one of the best suite of tools that I have ever seen whether it is for your Android phone or your iOS device. Wondershare Dr. Phone is a complete set of solutions for your Android phone or for your iOS device in any scenario. Whether you lost some important files and you want to recover them or you want to transfer data like WhatsApp chats from an iOS device to an Android device or basically get rid of a screen lock that you might have forgotten gotten and set up your phone as new, Wondershare Dr. Phone is really the way to go. It's got a lot of different functions as you guys can see on the screen right now, all the way from screen log that lets you remove different kinds of screen logs by following the steps or data recovery. So let's say you lost some important files on your iOS on your Android device and you want to recover them after they have been deleted, you can do that if you use this application. Again, the steps are super simple and you can follow them along once you download the application onto your computer or your Mac OS. There's also a password manager that lets you find out forgotten passwords, data eraser so that you can completely wipe your phone if you're feeling like selling it or if you want to give it off to somebody. And of course, one of the main features which is WhatsApp transfer that you can use to transfer WhatsApp chats from an iPhone to an Android or vice versa. All of this is pretty cool and you can view Wondershare's Dr. Phone from the link in the description below. Also, if you go ahead and click on the link now, they are having a huge Black Friday promotional offer. 
where you can essentially save up to 50% on these kind of softwares. So be sure to check it out from the link in the description below. And once again, a huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, moving on to the next app on the list, we've got a pretty cool minimal launcher that I recently found out called DNA Launcher. Now, see, it might be that most of you guys may not like this launcher, but I'm telling you some of you that will will really use this to their full extent. So essentially, this is an iOS like launcher where it gives you an overall Apple like iOS like home screen feel. But there's also a minimal mode that is basically going to turn it into Niagara launcher. If you guys had used that in the past and basically you get this app list where you can just swipe up and down to cycle between different applications. Overall, I feel like it's a very cool launcher setting where there are different styles like classic, minimalism, holographic mode. And basically, you know, once you use this, you will start understanding why iPhone some people like for their simplicity. And overall, it is the iOS launcher with a couple of more features on Android. So if you're somebody who wants to try something like this, or let's say you're somebody who has recently shifted from an iPhone to an Android device, congratulations, by the way, you're on the better side. Then also you can use this application to, you know, make your experience a little more easier to transition to the Android side of things. Okay, take a look at my home screen. If you like the widget as well as the wallpaper and you are about to comment, hey Anubhav, can I get the wallpaper link or the widget? Well, you don't have to. The next application on our list is called pix.skwgt and this is the exact kwgt pack from which this widget as well as today's wallpaper is from. Now, one of the main reasons why this widget pack caught my eye was because this is actually pretty cool and it borrows a lot of inspiration from nothing phones, nothing OS widgets and their entire Android skin. So you've got uh, this sort of holographic like font, you know, that is made up of pixels and it's truly nothing like. And of course, you also have a bunch of other widgets that uh, akin to material design in Android 14 that is only seen on pixel devices. Along with that, you also get a bunch of wallpapers that you can directly set from the app itself and I think it is a pretty cool KWGT pack to have to customize your Android. The one that I am using is the P20 widget found in this pack itself and this pack is paid. It costs about 90 rupees or a little over a dollar and I think it is totally totally worth it. So if you want to customize your phone like mine, be sure to check it out. Next up guys, we have an open source offline music playing application called Symphony and you know as the years are progressing, offline music players don't really seem to get a lot of attention because all of us use music streaming softwares. However, if you're still one of the OG people that download their music and take it with them inside their internal storage, this application should be a breath of fresh air because it's got the latest material design UI in it. So everything looks crisp and minimal. And it also has a couple of cool features like a for you section where it shows you your most viewed music, a songs and an albums and artists section and of course inside the settings there are equalizers and stuff that you can configure. I really like this application. It's free, it's open source, it's got no ads and I think it's the perfect app for anybody who wants an offline music player. Next app on our list is Image Toolbox and this is a particularly interesting app as well. If you open the app for the first time, you'll notice three main categories at the bottom. You've got an edit tab, a create tab and a tools tab. Now the edit tab lets you edit single photos. So whether you want to crop them, compress them, enlarge their storage size or whatever with it, you can do that. You can resize and convert photos to other formats and also delete or modify the EXIF data, which a lot of you might find useful for privacy reasons if you're sharing your photos online. You can also limit resize and resize by weight. Of course, if you go to the create section, you can apply a filter, draw on it, remove background from a photo if that is what you want to do and also stitch images. So if you have a panorama and if you have different shots, you want to convert it into one, you can do that with this application. And of course, one of my favorite options is in the tool section where there is a color picker where you can open up any photo, select any part of the image that has a certain color and it will give you the actual color hex code that you can use if you are trying to find out the exact color of something that you've clicked a photo of. Truly a free app and if you have a lot of photo editing to do with a couple of images, this will take care of all of that. Be sure to check it out. Next up guys, we've got a really cool task management application that will let you achieve your dreams by using AI. This is called Dream Fora and I think this is a super cool application because the moment you install it, it's going to ask you about your dream. So you can set up anything here, whether it is a spiritual goal that you want to reach, a financial goal or a career oriented goal, or you can also select from their 
list of uh, pre-made dreams that have a specific set of habits and tasks that you need to follow. But let's say that you add up your own goal. For example, just for demonstration purposes, I have added buy a sports car here. No matter what you write, the AI is gonna configure that and generate a brand new plan for you to achieve it, which will contain tasks that you can do actively and habits that you need to build over time to achieve that dream. Once your dream has been set and you generate it, you can open it up, see the overview, create a bunch of habits and select days that are certain to that particular habit, as well as go ahead and set tasks on it, like set a savings goal for the car or schedule test drives at different car dealerships, etc. You can also add other tasks personally that you think will be important and there's a note section that you can select to add more info on the dream. Overall, I feel like this is a good way to create a bunch of tasks and habits to achieve something in the long run. So be sure to check it out if you're thinking of doing something like this. The last two apps guys, like previous months, are games. Starting things up, we have Punch, Kick, Duck and this was a really interesting game that I saw on the Play Store. So I downloaded it to try it out and I really ended up liking it. Punch, Kick, Duck, as the name suggests, puts you in the shoes of a duck that can do three actions. It can punch, it can kick, and it can duck in either direction. The objective of the game is to defeat different kinds of enemies where punch essentially beats kick, kick beats duck, and it gets a little confusing, but it's super fun to play. The art style is cool, the music is cool, and the character just looks super goofy and super fun. So if you want to kill some time, this is a cool game to try. And last but not the least, we have an OG. This is a game that I used to play back in 2015, 2016. It's amazing to see that it is still on the Play Store and people are still playing it to this date, seven years later. But of course, it's called Badland. It's a platformer where you take charge of a character that is sort of a black ball that that can increase in size, decrease in size, and of course the art style, you move throughout a jungle with weird tech in it. I mean, you really have to play this game or see the gameplay to truly understand what it's about. But trust me, it was great seven years ago when I used to play it as a child. And today when I got back into it, it was still pretty damn interesting and pretty damn impressive. So if you're looking for a good free platformer game with a cool art style to play, definitely Badland should be at the top of your list if you haven't played it already. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our 10 Android app video for December 2023. The next video is gonna be in January, which should be really cool because a new year is starting. I'm super excited to make that as well. But if you guys enjoyed the apps in today's list, let us know in the comments. These videos take a long time to put together research and make so a subscription to the channel would be terrific and a like is of course always appreciated another cool thing you can do to support the channel is go ahead and turn on all notifications after you subscribe so that you don't miss any other update and we can get more viewers on board our channel with that said ladies and gentlemen this is Anubhav signing out I'll catch you guys next time you guys have a great day stay safe peace out and I'll see you in the next one bye bye